<laughs> it was awesome, and it shows a little bit of the personality of that club. Um, you had guys that weren't in the lineup that we fired in there and did their jobs. Um, Burley and Siani, I mean, first play of the game, makes a diving play coming in, and it just sets the tone for the defense of what we're about to do. And throughout the, the remaining part of that game, we played really good defense. So Burley came up with a big hit as well, left on left. And um, yeah, it was a very interesting morning. You got Contreras was beat up. He got hit pretty good and uh, was having trouble taking swings. Um, Donovan had trouble straightening out his arm. Uh, Carp with the oblique. So you had a lot of moving parts, but uh, it was good to take that one. Yeah, he had a heads up yesterday that this was possible, depending on how Contreras came in, but it just shows his level of maturity. Um, he's grown a lot to be able to handle um, everything that he handled today, of handling the staff, a lot of moving parts to how we use the pen today as well, and then a uh, big homer. Um, he, he, I mean, he swung it really well in spring. He's been swinging it well every opportunity he gets, so not surprised by it, but good to see. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't easy early on, um, but we were able to string it together and figure out ways to get on base and then drive guys in, and this offense is going to be completely fine. We have different ways of scoring. We're not going to have to depend on just the homer and the long ball. You, you, you can lay down some bunts. You can run the bases properly. You can kind of take some walks. We got uh, some versatility um, throughout that lineup, so it should be fun. Uh, he can. He proved that last year. Um, the more opportunities we gave him, um, he did a really nice job against him today. That was a big knock for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, if I can narrow it down to one thing, this club's going to fight. Um, I think we've shown that in a short period of time, but. If there's one thing we're going to do is we're going to fight. Uh, it doesn't matter if we're down. There's not a whole lot of panic in that group. Um, I mean, Lance did his job. A couple of good swings got him there, but he was getting some defensive swings. We were down in that fifth inning. And uh, throughout that dugout, um, we're just going to find a way to win. And uh, the guys pulled it off. Talking about fight, um, talking about Nolan Arnon and some of the good at-bats he had, especially going two strikes and stuff, yeah. making stuff happen. Um, yeah, Nolan's been working hard at getting to where he, where he feels good about his swing, and um, today's a good day for him. Um, he battles through it. He finds a way to get three knocks, and getting him hot is important because um, when he's feeling good about himself, it's uh, it's super dangerous. So today to see him kind of grind out those knocks was uh, was good to see. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the series in San Diego showed a little bit of that, a couple of the games in L.A. Um, it's just we have some guys that can really run. We got some guys that uh, control the strike zone really well. We got some guys that can drive the baseball. Um, so finding different ways to win is important, and we're going to be able to do that. That was the key to that game. Uh, each guy did their job, um, and we feel confident in every single person that's in that pen. I mean, the last guy we used was yesterday in Fernandez, and uh, that looked pretty good. Um, so to be able to go to Libby or Palante, um, we wanted the right on right there with, with Gio, and then uh, set up the lefty lane for JoJo once we took the lead, and Helsley uh, closed the door. So um, each guy did their job. It was good. Sure. Yeah, that was back in San Diego the morning, uh, the day game. Uh, he went into the cage early that morning, took some swings. Um, before he felt a little something in his last swing, he shut it down. Um, he didn't want to try to swing through it, so he was unavailable that last day game there. Um, got some imaging here, and there's a strain, so we're looking at a couple weeks. Uh, yeah, hand came back good, no, no fracture. So he uh, he was able to move around 
move it around a little bit today during the game. It felt better as the game went on, unavailable today, but um, we'll see how he comes in tomorrow and the next day, and hopefully uh, Saturday's a go for him. That's yeah. kind of as tolerated? As tolerated, yeah. Receiving. Correct, both. both. Yeah, um, it is his glove hand. Um, so we'll see how he comes in tomorrow and the next day. But as the game went on, he was able to kind of move it around and, and do some things underneath and felt better about it. So we're hopeful. Ali, when you have a young catcher, presumably one who's going to be a backup, and he gets, and he's working on defense elements. Yeah. Pretty offense. Take a hit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he loves to hit. We just yeah, so we just we have to stay on him, and this is where he's done a really nice job on making catching important, and then between innings figuring out how you're going to attack the next guys. And Dusty's done a nice job with them. They sit together in between innings and kind of go through the plan, because um, the fo I mean he's gonna he's gonna hit. He, he's got a good swing and he he has a passion for hitting, um, but he is doing an, a much better job of figuring out what's important defensively and how do I get my pitchers through this. Um, we're, we're super happy with the work he's put in there as well. Yeah. yeah you guys had some opportunities against San Diego to cash on some Yeah. Field, yeah, you never want to lose a game, but um, I felt like San Diego that last game, they just beat us. And if you're I'm, I'm okay with if the team comes out and just plays better than you, then you, you tip your cap and you move on to the next day. And that's exactly what that club did. We moved on to the next day, got down early, and uh, still fought our way back to a good win. Um, it leads to a nice off day, which uh, that group will appreciate right now. Yeah. You're right. I would attribute almost all of it to his preparation. It, when you feel prepared, then when the game starts, you can slow it down and you can see the whole field. Where um, last year, I felt like he was just trying to get to understand what prep looked like at this level. Um, so the game was fast. Things would happen that he wouldn't pick up on. Um, his level of prep preparation has gone through the roof where I think he's seeing the game much better. And because of it, it's much slower. Yeah. Well, we've seen it. I mean, his last spring was pretty impressive what he did offensively. So he has the ability to do it. Each game he's gotten better of slowing it down, not looking to pull. Like he, he's staying through the middle of the field. And um, when he does that, I mean, the kid has got some ability. Um, his defense has been really, really good offensively. I'm start, he, He's starting to feel it a little bit. And uh, that's fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah, all the guys have done a really nice job with that. But for to see a young guy kind of do it, it's good. Um, they've had that modeled well by some of the other guys. Um, there's a lot of conversations going on in that dugout and making sure that we stick to a plan. So.